hello welcome or welcome back and today I'm gonna to start on that cabinet it's, it's late in the evening of course but hey it's better than a rant and I apologize for my rant yesterday but sometimes that happens there's nothing you can do but today I'm gonna to start on that metal cabinet but the first thing I need to do is get the rust off. So some of this may be speeded up just for the sake of time. But I do want to go walk you through it in case you too have a metal cabinet that has to do double duty. Alright, so I'm going to flip it off of me and then, not flip me off, but flip it off of me. But flip you around so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see, there's some like little rust spots, but I don't want to go too deep on them. So I'm just using a really fine sandpaper. I don't want to take what little bit of paint there is off. that was really the worst of it. So as you can see, there's some little sticky bumps. I'm going to clean that off real fast. And then we'll oil it. Sorry about my finger there. I'm not trying to give you the finger. Don't think that. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got it clean. I'm going to show you a little bit of a secret of this. If you've noticed, it's gotten bigger. That's Hi, I'm back. I just wanted to clean the outside rug and sandpaper but still, but there goes my rug. Vuki's taking it. But anyway, so I got the top, and if you notice something, it's longer. It's because, as I say, you know, when you live in a tiny home, Things need to do double, even triple duty. So, this part that's out here, I'm sorry about my finger, needs to actually, it slides out. Now if I can get back in. It still needs oiled, but, so it's bigger. Let me see if I can pull it up. So it's bigger than it was. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it with the oil. And this, I've added stuff to baby oil. And that's what I'm going to be using. Most people would use like three in one oil, things like that. To tell you the honest truth, I cannot stand the smell of three in one oil. Yes, it has its uses, but I don't like the smell. It makes me want to gag. So, I'm going to see if I can help this at all. Let's see. And that's kind of why I keep a little cover over it. Because it is bad in some places. But, hey, it does what it's supposed to. And it's just it's just slurping that all in like a like a big gulp. I'm gonna do this and then I'll come back and show you the final there and then we'll put some contact paper in because this is where my clothes are gonna go. Cause right now, well, I'll show you what I have my clothes in. And they scattered. Let me walk over here. This is what I have my clothes in right now. Just a plastic crate. Pl 
plastic crates. And I want them a little bit safer. So, all right, I'll be back right with y'all. So I've tried to save you guys a lot of the tedium of just oiling. And yeah, I've noticed that somebody did something here. And I've noticed that there used to be, I don't know if you all can see this. Hang on, let me see. If I, there we go. What is that thing? Okay. But there used to be some kind of latch. But I took, and I had this contact paper. And I have been toting this around since I was a teenager. But I'm not the best contact paper person, but hey, it works. So, there we go. Nice and shiny again. So, I'll show you. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. And I put some stuff back on the table. That candle I had like a long time, even from my old channel. And so it, it worked. This is going to be one of my next projects. And I've seen this where people are actually buying these, these little funguses that I've collected throughout the years. And they're turning them into like shelves. So I thought, hmm, I already have them. So what I plan on doing is just taking and this side of it, just planing it flat and uh, putting some hooks or something in it to use it for shelves. And I have big, huge ones too. But anyway, I haven't got my clothes in yet, but that, that'll be okay. We can try to fit them in on another day. But that is the finished project or product. And really what I want to know, does anybody know anything about this cabinet? Because both sides in it slide out and, and make it longer. And I have no clue about it, no idea about it. I don't know who made it, but I wish I did. So if anybody has any information or knows somebody that has information on it, please send them over and, ch and have them check it out so that I can know more about it. Because I don't know, I just call it the coffee table cabinet that slides out to make a bigger table. That's all I know. <laughs> That's all I know. But I would love more information on it. It's black. It has a silver handle, and it looks like something. I don't know if that was an add-on by somebody that it once had. Looks like it has some kind of locking or cl closing mechanism. So I don't. I don't know what it was, but I do appreciate y'all joining me today, and you know, thank you so very much for the views I've been getting, and um. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.